The fact that defensiveness is an understandable reaction to criticism or contempt is one reason it destroys relationships. Defensiveness tends to escalate a conflict rather than resolve it. In this video, I will discuss how to identify defensiveness in your relationship and share scientifically researched ways to put an end to it. Let's look at an example. By the end of their six-year wedding anniversary, Claire and Kevin still hadn't resolved their financial disagreements. During their last argument, Claire shouted, Yet again, you forgot to pay the mortgage. We're going to get the house repossessed at this rate. I don't know how I ended up marrying someone that's so irresponsible with money. I've just been far too busy. You know how busy my schedule is. You have more time on your hands. Why didn't you just do it? In this example, we can see how Claire's contemptuous comments led to Kevin's defensive reaction. Claire verbally attacked Kevin's personality and character, and Kevin denied any responsibility and made excuses. As a result, the problem stays unresolved and the conflict escalates further. The problem with defensiveness is that it hinders healthy conflict management. Both criticism and contempt fuel defensiveness. It's easy to see why this happens, because if you feel under attack, your natural response is to defend yourself. The fact that defensiveness is such an understandable reaction makes it so destructive. Defensiveness is also one of the most dangerous communication methods in a relationship and can lead to endless spirals of negativity. According to leading relationship expert John Gottman, there are several forms of defensiveness, including denying responsibility, repeating yourself, making excuses, making a counter-attack, whining, and the use of body language. These defensive strategies are never successful. Making excuses just communicates to your partner that you don't respect them. Whining usually comes from a position of manipulative victimhood. And if you make a counter attack, you're just stoking the flames of a fire. Defensiveness is a way of blaming your partner. You're basically saying, the problem isn't me, it's you. John Gottman explains that negative communication patterns fall under four key categories, criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. He calls these negative communication patterns the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which is a metaphor he uses to depict the end of a relationship. In this video, I'm focusing on defensiveness and the antidote to defensiveness is to take responsibility for your role in the situation, even if only for part of the conflict. Let's revisit Claire and Kevin. So remember, Claire shouted, yet again, you forgot to pay the mortgage. We're going to get the house repossessed at this rate. I don't know how I ended up marrying someone that's so irresponsible with money. Using the antidote to defensiveness, Kevin replied, Oh gosh, I completely forgot. I do remember we did agree I would pay the mortgage this month. I'll organise payment straight away. Even though Claire's comments showed contempt, Kevin avoided a defensive response and took responsibility. By doing this, Kevin communicated his respect for his partner and their relationship. Now, it might seem unfair that you have to change your behaviour when you're the one being verbally attacked. But the reality is that defensiveness is just as damaging to your relationship. I'm aware practising the antidote to defensiveness isn't an easy process. It will probably take a lot of effort, but do keep practising. If you're interested in finding out more about the horseman, please view the links in the description box below. You may also be interested in the video on the screen now. Just click the screen to view the video, and I look forward to seeing you soon.